What is going on everybody? My name is Engage Tutorials. Welcome back to another video and today we have an unboxing and review of this Quantum Byte fanless mini PC by Azul. Before we get into this video, I want to give a little disclaimer that this is a paid product review by Azul. So huge shout out to them for sending this out for review and unboxing. And of course, my opinions are my own and they do not change because they just sent this out. So keep that in mind. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this box and review it for you. All right, so before we get into the box, I want to show you a little bit on the outside and show you what it offers. So this is an Azul Byte Plus fanless uh, mini PC. As you can see on the right here, we have read, watch, play, explore, and connect. Just showing a little things that this can do. Uh, it also ships with Windows 10. And on the back, not much, just a blue, uh, blue background. And the only thing left is really on the top. And on the top, it shows that it comes with a full Windows 10 operating system, two gigabytes of DDR, 3L RAM, and 32 gigabytes of memory. And it also comes with an Intel Cherry Trail T3 Z8 300, which is a quad core processor clocking in at 1.44 gigahertz and turbo up to 1.84. And it also supports dual monitor display capabilities. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. There are two tabs on each side of the box, one on this side and one on the other. So you just need to slice those open. And then all you have to do is uh, pull it apart, slide it open. And I always love these kind of boxes because they're so easy to open and get into the product. Just my opinion. But um, I guess we can get rid of this part till later. But you are now greeted with uh, the contents on the inside. If you open this tab here, the first thing you come to is the mini PC itself. As you can see, very compact and very sleek looking. Uh, but we'll get to looking at that later. We do have a few other things that come in the box. Uh, first off, you have these two pamphlets or little papers here. One of them is just a registration slash welcome paper that is welcoming you to the Azul family. The one behind it is a quick start guide, uh, which pretty much just shows you how to quickly set up the device and get it connected to a TV. Runs you through a few instructions and it's fairly simple to do. And next up we have what seems to be the only thing left in this box is some cables or maybe a power adapter. Nothing under there, of course. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what is on the inside. So I was correct. We do have a power adapter and it looks like a clip on piece to, to match uh, whatever outlet you have. So you can change them up, I guess. That's why they have that. And uh, here is the uh, power adapter itself. The normal basic power adapter. The box also came with this auto run jumper 349. Looks like a little piece of something. I'm not really sure what that is, but um, that's pretty much it for the unboxing part of this video. I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick look around of the PC itself. USB 3.0 ports on the back, some uh, HDMI ports, the power connector, uh, an extra USB cable, VGA, headphone, etc. And of course, the antenna for the, uh, the wireless connection. Now, on the top, you have a little warning here. Uh, not really too important, I don't think. But uh, on the side, we actually have a SD card adapter or slot so you can upgrade the storage because this thing only comes with 32 gigabytes of storage. And uh, there's the bottom. So let's go ahead and get into hooking this up and giving you a little review. All right, guys. So once you set it up, it will have you uh, set up the operating system, giving your language, your location, your time zone, etc. cetera. Uh, kind of like a normal Windows uh, fresh install, if you will. But um, go ahead through and set this up. And then after you get through this page, you can set up uh, different Wi-Fi settings and put in your Wi-Fi password. And then you can use express settings or customize your settings for the install. And it will give you a just a moment screen and it's setting up Windows and getting it ready for you to use. All right, guys. So once you have it all set up, it'll take you to your Windows desktop like so. It looks like a, a regular Windows 10 machine, which it is. Just a mini PC. So I'm going to go through and show you how YouTube works, Netflix, uh, Twitch, etc. Because this is a media streaming PC. So right now I'm going to go ahead and give my review on all of that. And so far it seems to run very well. I will do a stress test at the end as well with a bunch of different tabs open. And show that like 80% of the RAM is being used and it's still running fine. So this is going to be a great PC if you want to hook it up to a TV 
to make turn that TV into a media TV. You can go on the web browser. You can watch Twitch, YouTube, Netflix, etc. Uh, just like you could with a smart TV. So if you don't have one of those, these would be a perfect option for you. And as well, a perfect option for a college student who can't afford a full PC. This will be another great option as well because this thing only comes in at... $170 on Amazon and $190 if you include a PC or not a PC, a mouse and keyboard because it does not come with one, unfortunately. As well, it doesn't come with an HDMI cable connector or anything to connect it to TV, so you need to keep that in mind as well. So here's how it runs on Twitch. Like I said before, YouTube, Twitch, and Netflix runs perfectly fine, but not only can you use this for that, you can also um, use it for Skyping with family and friends. Uh, with a webcam, they have a they have a bundle that includes a webcam as well, and you can also use Microsoft Office and things like that for this. So once again, going back to that college PC type of thing, in uh, it's really good for that or a media streaming uh, uh, device for your TV in your main living room or family room. And of course, here is uh, sh as you can see sh me showcasing Netflix on this, and it runs perfectly fine. And I'm sure you can also run. Uh, light windows games like possibly slither and things like that so that's definitely worth checking out as well so now of course i wanted to show you this little benchmark that i did nothing too serious it's just showing how the load works with this mini pc so i have all those tabs open as you could see uh four or five six tabs or so and if i open up task manager you can see that the, the memory is almost all filled up at 77 to 80 percent depending on which tabs that you have open and if I go to different things in the operating system like calculator here it all still loads up perfectly fine and I can still run uh, on the web browser and continue doing what I'm doing like watching a YouTube video and things like that and I'm just going through and showing you different things like the Windows Store I'll bring up YouTube in a little bit to show that I could still run YouTube videos with all those tabs open. So I just didn't want you guys to get possibly worried about uh, bogging the PC down if you have a couple tabs open. Everything runs smoothly how it should, and all in all, it's a great uh, mini PC to use. I would definitely recommend it to somebody who wants to turn their TV into a media streaming uh, TV and a college student who doesn't have the funds for a full PC and just anyone in general who wants um, a mini computer that's not their main computer or if you don't have a main computer of course so um, that's pretty much it for this unboxing and review guys I hope you did enjoy if you did definitely drop a big thumbs up down below it would be greatly greatly appreciated show your support on this video the link is in the description to check out this device so go ahead and check that out it'll be at the top of the description and uh, of course if you are still watching to the end which I hope you are let's do special word of the day and today's special word of the day is PC so put PC in the comments and I'll reply to you as always and I will see you in the next one peace